Hey guys, hey guys. All right, I'm in such a good mood today. I'm ready to do another episode. First, I wanna explain a few things. A lot of you are getting confused about my barbecue sauce. So let me just explain it one more time. I have the version that I've been selling on my website that has, in the recipe, it has ketchup, and the ketchup we used had high fructose corn syrup. We're putting that on sale on my website. Uh, dollar off every jar. Uh, it's less expensive than the new sauce that I'm making. The new sauce I'm making is on Amazon Prime, and it's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. That has no high fructose corn syrup, and that's how it's going to be from now on. They taste identical. They taste exactly the same, but some people don't want high fructose corn syrup, so we've reformulated it. But we gotta sell the other stuff that we have. So the other stuff is on my website, cookingwithjack.com. You can go there and get it on sale while it lasts. I only have like 20 cases of it. And the new stuff is on Amazon Prime. That's for all of the United States right now. Okay, you guys got that? Awesome. Today we're doing something I read in the, I think it was the New Yorker uh, on the internet about hair dryer chicken. And I thought, ugh, you gotta be kidding me, right? They're using a hair dryer to dry out the chicken. So first, I'm gonna show you how we prep the chicken. Then we're gonna put it in the fridge, then we're gonna use the hair dryer on it. But let me just give you a warning right now. If you don't have a brand new hair dryer, then you better make sure your hair dryer is sanitized. Because I know a lot of hair dryers have that vent on the back and hair and gunk. And that stuff can blow right through onto your food. I would never do that. The New Yorker article, the girl was using a, um, a Dyson. And a Dyson is completely open hair dryer. It's a $400 hair dryer. I'm not buying a $400 hair dryer to do my chicken. But I'm going to go buy a new one right now and use it on my chicken just to see if it makes the skin extra crispy. I know it's insane, but everybody's making a big deal about it. So I thought, hmm. Let's find out what everybody is raving about. Come on in close and let's prep our chicken. First thing you wanna do is get some paper towels and you're gonna pat dry the chicken. You wanna get all the moisture off the chicken, inside and out. You do the cavities, go under the wings. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is salt our chicken. I have kosher salt in a bowl. The reason why I'm putting it in a bowl is because I'm gonna be touching the chicken and touching the bowl and touching the chicken. I didn't wanna contaminate the salt in my salt holder. So we're going to salt it inside. We're gonna salt it outside in little cracks there. Do the same with the other chicken. The reason I'm doing two chickens, one, I'm gonna do the hair dryer method and one I'm just gonna do normal with no hair dryer. We're gonna compare the two. These chickens are from an Amish farm up in Kentucky. They're completely clean. I love the Amish chickens. They cook great, they smell great. They have nothing injected in them. They're all natural. All right, now these chickens are gonna go into the refrigerator, just like this out in the open, 24 to 48 hours roughly. So I'll see you back in a day or so. It's kind of like dry aging the chicken. If you've never done this before and you're trying to pull moisture out of like a Thanksgiving turkey, unwrap it the day before Thanksgiving and put it in the refrigerator and let that cold dryness take the moisture out. Uh, it's going to be so much better. Time to get my new knife out. The Katori Damascus Steel. I'm going to start cutting up all these veggies. This beautiful tray of oil and seasoned vegetables are gonna go under the chicken on the lower shelf. We're gonna roast these while the chicken is roasting above. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's bring it out. There it is. Isn't she beauty? That's a beautiful eight pound brisket. Oh, wait a minute. That's for another video. Bring it back. That's what I'm talking about. Look, you can already see the skin's drying out. See how it's kind of like, it's almost see-through. So the, the test is this. I'm gonna blow dry one and not the other. So let's take this one off right now. 
All right, guys, so I'm all plugged in. Got my $10 hair dryer right there. That's right, that's what a $10 hair dryer looks like. Now, the lady who did this recipe originally used a Dyson $400 hair dryer. I'm using a $10 hair dryer because that's about all this video's worth. You have to use the cold setting on your hair dryer. I got a cold button. Okay, this, this just feels wrong. All right, so we're pretty dry. But the skin, the fats in the skin are coming out. And they're becoming oily. The outside's becoming oily. But look, the skin is almost transparent now on the chicken. And it's, it's become very gelatinous. All the fats in it. So this one... Oh, there is a little difference in the skin. This one has been hair dried. You can see the tightness in the skin. There's a lot more tightness in the skin on this one. This one has some moisture still pooling. I'm not gonna mess with it. I just had it in the refrigerator drying out. So these are the two birds. Uh, oh, we gotta season them, I almost forgot. We're keeping it really basic, guys. We don't need any more salt. Just gonna put a little, little pepper. Not really here to eat it as much as I am to just play with it and see how it turns out there. Just a little bit of pepper on the outside. We already got the salt already put in. Now get this in the oven at 350 and then the heat instructions are down below. First, let me show you the vegetables. They look good, everything looks good. Dinner's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. All right, here we go. Oh, look how beautiful they roasted. Is that gorgeous? They're just on the verge of burnt <laughs> that's all you can say but they're roasted perfectly it's still sizzling hot do you remember which one's which do you remember there is that a better look i i have to say there is a difference let me just touch not much really not much at all hmm Okay, so I want to get you in close so you can see and hear. I'm going to lean in with my microphone so you can hear it cut. This is the one that was hair dryer. And now the one that, in fact, look at the one that didn't get blow drying and cooked more, better, better on the outside. Look at that juice. Okay guys, so now it's time to do the finger test. This is the one that was hair dried. This one it wasn't. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out. The skin is definitely crispy. Hard to tear. Let's take this one off. This one also, ooh, it's hot. Come on, there we go. Oh, it's just as hard to tear. It's just as crispy. Uh, I don't see a difference at all. Hair dryer chicken makes no difference. The thing's a fad, it's a farce, it doesn't even work. There was like almost no difference in those skins after all that work I went through. So whoever that lady is at the New Yorker, you're wasting your time. Just stick it in and roast that sucker and enjoy your chicken. There you go, guys. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.